Bonjour tout le monde, hello everybody et bienvenue, welcome to Paris, home of the 2024 Olympic Games. Today we'll be finding out what's so special about this year's Olympics and visiting many of the venues where the action will take place. So stay tuned to find out more. Now the modern Olympic Games started in 1896, just after my dear friend behind me, the Eiffel Tower, had been built. But the ancient Olympics began nearly 3,000 years ago in a place called Olympia to celebrate the Greek god Zeus. Men and boys competed in boxing, wrestling, athletics and chariot racing without wearing any clothes. These Olympic Games lasted about 1,000 years, meaning that before and after the time of Jesus Christ, men fought against each other, naked. Then came 1,500 years of no Olympics. No Olympics. No Olympics. No Olympics. That changed when a guy from France... Allons les enfants de la patrie, le jour de gloire est arrivé. Called Pierre de Coubertin, became embarrassed by how unsporty the French had become. After France lost a war to Prussia, formerly a part of Germany, he thought reviving the Olympics would inspire physical education across the country. And thus the modern Olympic Games! Now this is the third time that Paris is hosting the Olympics, equaling the record of London. The Games were held here in Paris in 1900 and 100 years ago in 1924. In fact, this, Le Stade Yves du Manoir, where the 2024 hockey will take place, is actually where the 1924 athletics took place. It was this games that inspired the movie Chariots of Fire. <laughs> 100 years on and the Olympics will take place in Paris from the 26th of July to the 11th of August. Ten and a half thousand athletes will compete for 329 gold, silver and bronze medals, with the winner standing on top of the podium to the tune of their national anthem. God save our gracious Queen King! And the Olympics will kick off here at Le Stade de France with the opening ceremony. No, Mr Innes, the opening ceremony will take place on the River Seine. They're opening the Olympics on a river. Yes, for the first time in Olympic history, the opening ceremony will not take place in a stadium, but on a river. Kicking off at 2024, that's 8.24 p.m., the athletes will divide up into their countries, all 203 of them, and sail down the River Seine on little boats, passing Notre Dame and ending here at the Eiffel Tower. Then, once the Olympic torch lights the Olympic cauldron here at Trocadero, the 32 sports will be ready to begin. Actually, the rugby sevens and football start two days earlier. Yes, the football will kick things off here at Parc des Princes, home to Paris Saint-Germain Football Club. And if we're lucky, Kylian Mbappe might even play for the French Olympic team. And with the best rugby player in the world, Antoine Dupont, participating, the Rugby Sevens will be held here at the Stade de France, which will also host the Olympics showpiece event, track and field, also known as athletics. The only new sport at this year's Olympics will be breaking, or break dancing, which will take place right here at Concorde in a new special stadium. There will be 35 venues used for this year's Olympics, including Roland Garros, home to tennis's French Open. Can Rafael Nadal finish his career with Olympic gold? Another of the venues is Le Grand Palais, an art gallery that will be reconverted for fencing and taekwondo. We are sorry to interrupt your coverage, but news is breaking that viewers can access a free eight-week Olympic video course brought to you by French with Mr. Innes. Uh, now, one Monsieur Claude Dubois is here with the details. Monsieur Claude Dubois, what can you tell us? Yes, viewers can click on the first link in the description below to learn Olympic French with Mr. Innes. And what can viewers expect from this series? 
there will be eight videos on countries, medals, sports, and the Paralympics. And it's free to sign up. Well, thank you, Monsieur Claude Dubois. And that's all for today's breaking news. Mr. Innes, we are live again. <laughs> uh, another of our Olympic venues is the Bercy Arena, where the basketball, artistic gymnastics, and trampoline will take place. <laughs> And the La Défense Arena behind me is where you'll find some of the swimming and water polo. Arguably the most controversial of those venues is, you guessed it, the River Seine. The River Seine has been so dirty that swimming in it has been banned for the past 100 years. But 1.4 billion euros has been spent to clean up the river so it can host the triathlon and marathon swimming. But perhaps the coolest of the venues will be this stadium, which is being specially constructed for the beach volleyball right at the foot of the Eiffel Tower itself. Further afield, the third most visited landmark in the world, Le Château de Versailles, will host the equestrian and the modern pentathlon, while the sailing will take place on the south coast of France in Marseille. And on the other side of the world, Tahiti, which is somehow part of France, will host the surfing. Are you ready for the biggest international sports competition in history? Well, here's how you can play a tiny part in the Olympic Games with our... Competition time! I'm lucky enough to have a ticket to these nine events. So today I'm going to challenge you guys to make a poster in French about one of these events and ask an adult to send it to info at frenchwithmrinnis.com with your name, age and location. The nine winners will have their posters shown in a special video released in August where I'll give them a shout out at the real life Olympic event. A link to more details can be found in the description below. Well, that's everything for this Olympic Games preview. Bon courage with the competition and enjoy checking out the free eight-week French course. But in the meantime, à bientôt et au revoir.